it's me, and today we're checking out some very fast workers. Now this is something I have never seen before. This dude is cutting the bark off of a tree. It just comes off like a piece of paper? No way! The bark is just smooth under the tree. The tree trunk is just like a rod. So this is how they make paper? I cannot believe that a tree's bark is just wrapped around the tree like some wrapping paper. You could just peel it off. Someone's dad watching this right now. Sniper Wolf has never worked with wood and it shows. I had to watch it several times to understand what was going on. He's painting the bricks red, but the orange bricks supposed to be red? Uh, not in this case. In this case, the bricks are white, and the little lines between the bricks are indented in. So when he paints the bricks white, you still have the white lines. But still, painting bricks red don't sit right with me. You know, we want these bricks to look like bricks. Paint them red. All right. It's like when they dye salmon orange, so it's a more vibrant orange. They love lying to you. Look how fast they paint these bowls. So you just dip the brush into paint and just hold it there while the spinning bowl just like soaks up all the paint. Y'all make it look way too easy. That bowl was painted faster than I could finish a bowl of cereal. Whoa. Wait, so it was a stack of metal trays. Also, they're like stacked in between each other. I had to watch this a couple times like, wait, what did he do? He just made them into two piles. I was gonna be like, can't you just stack one pile and then stack the other or take one pile and then separate it into two, but no. Life is not that simple. We're gonna do a little trick, like shuffling cards, shuffling lunch trays. This is such a weird way to cut a melon, but also a safe way because technically the blade is away from you So you can't possibly hurt yourself. I still find a way to hurt myself. That cantaloupe bald. Let me try to figure out how he skinned the melon. Like How? So the reason that they cut the skin off the melon is because there is bacteria on the peel I just been like cutting my melon and eating it with a peel. I don't eat the peel, but I eat it with the peel still attacked it just takes one swift movement to wrap this up. Can't tell what it is. <gasps> is that plastic wrap? All right, but what if you mess up the first movement? Then you're donezo. Fired. The whole spool would be ruined. Oh, so there's actually somebody at the shoe factory shoving all the shoes with tissue paper. You know when you buy a brand new pair of shoes, it's like stuffed. It's such a specific little thing. So actually seeing it done, I'm like, whoa, there's a real person that like hand stuffs the shoes. What a tedious job. <laughs> yes, I am a professional shoe stuffer. You know, whenever you go to a store or a restaurant, a car dealership, they got something hand painted. They got one of these dudes. There is no room for mistakes. Oh, you see the way he draw the eight? That don't sit right with me. The way he did the five. I would think this guy is the expert. And yeah, I have never seen anybody draw any of those numbers like that. I thought you do an eight like, have I been doing it wrong? Or is this just the pretty way of doing it? These workers made a human chain to collect the apples. Oh, I love how efficient this is. They made a line with bucketfuls of apples and they just like toss them to the main apple tosser. Just dump the apples and toss the bucket back. Y'all gonna pick this field dry in no time. Look how thin this chef slices the food. And also, knife safety first. Is that a piece of tofu? Imagine your knife being that sharp that you can create that many layers in a piece of soft tofu. <gasps> it made a shag out of a tofu. You know those fluffy seat covers? So thin that you can put it through a needle hole. Okay, 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 that is incredibly impressive. Y'all are good at this. They are cementing one piece of tile. That is a big piece. Oh wait, it's not even one piece. It's several pieces. You can put the cement on multiple pieces at once and then just flip them over. Floor. I love these videos. When they take these long sticks of candy and then they have to cut them up into little pieces. I've seen so many videos of these on TikToks, but I've never seen a place that actually sells these in real life. Who's buying these? Who's selling that? Where are y'all getting this fancy candy from? They're basically very long ropes of sugar. And they just do 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 Felt like my arm jiggled more than my hand. You know, instead of painting a bowl, there's also glazing it. So they hold it and then just dip it all the way into the top. Y'all got no glaze on the inside. So y'all got that iron grip. Being able to hold a bowl, just no thumb, just hold a bowl. Oh, I guess I can do it with a cup. <laughs> So they cut the wires. Oh, the wires are all rainbow. Oh, we gotta put each wire through these tubes. Whoa, y'all did it in a few seconds. It takes me a good few minutes to put a string through a needle hole. Unless, of course, you do the hack where you just put it in your mouth, get it wet, and then just stick it in. Uh, you can't really do that with wires, though. Have y'all ever seen anybody use a glass cutting tool? So it basically makes a very shallow cut in the glass so the other guy can just bend it and cut it. Wow. It's like the ends of your notebook. You're supposed to fold on the dotted line and then pull and it's supposed to be a clean cut. Except with paper, the cut is never so clean. Glass, it's very good. 
Did y'all just cut a tire? Whoa. Tires are tough. Power saw is tougher. That actually cut it like it was a piece of paper. Sheesh. Like, look at that thing. I never thought a tire cutting would be so satisfying. You know, it's usually tires destroying things that's satisfying, but now it's destroying tires that's satisfying. <laughs> Tables have turned. This dude is cooking. I believe this is sugar cane. And wait, when it's done, he just takes this piece of wire, wraps it around, and then uses it to flip them over so the rest can finish cooking. And then when it's done, you can just like tie the knot, sling it across your back. Well, bam, very efficient. And we gotta get these logs down out of the truck. Just, oh, all of them were tied together. Did they even give it a little push? How did it just collapse? Oh, they cut down some, and then it just all collapsed. These are not trees, they're canes. Cut a straight line with that big old thing? Sheesh. That looks dangerous. Leave this to the professionals. I can barely cut a straight line with scissors. And this dude just went skirt with his behemoth. This is a cool trick. I saw a farmer doing this on TikTok. Where you light the rim of a tire with the rim popping out. And then wait, watch this. It just bounces back. Pops the rim back into place. It's like magic. <gasps> is this guy gonna make a zoodle? Very long spaghetti noodle? No, it's a zucchini noodle. That is a very large zucchini. Is it zucchini? Whoa! Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your zucchini. That did not sound right. This dude is quick! A long sheet of dough. But was it made with love though? My dude just took out all his anger. Cookie cutting. His boss would be like, you should come to work angry more often and get things done. Take out your anger and frustrations on the dough. This is a work of art. The fastest way to plaster a wall. Just pour it straight out of the bucket onto the wall. But you have to be quick before it can drip down to the bottom. You have to smooth it down. Ooh, and she is quick with it. Got it before it touched the ground. Nice. I'm sorry, what did I just watch? Wallpaper for your floor? Is that what vinyl flooring is? You just roll it out? I thought they were wood floors. Don't let the landlord see this. A sheet of paper that looked like wood? This is a scam. This dude took all of these wires, ooh, they're green, and tied them up. And look how organized they look. The wire management is immaculate. I got five wires and I can't even keep them organized. Ooh, that is a good looking melon. And this dude cuts it very fast too, but it's different. Instead of holding it up while he cuts it, he just cuts it away. These are the professional fruit cutters at grocery stores that make the little packs of fruit. Five watermelon cubes for $5. But it's cut up. Oh, I love me some window cleaning. How about when I do it at home with Windex is just, it doesn't do the trick. But this. This dude is laying pavers, lightning speed. However, I fear for his back. If you're gonna do this, pick up heavy things. Make sure you squat. Don't use your back, use your legs and your butt. Build stronger legs and glutes. This is only gonna cause back problems. I tell this to my mom all the time, every time she bends over. She bends on her back! Bend with your legs! Get gains! My back hurt watching that clip. Oh, this is going too fast, but this dude is keeping up. He's just stacking them. Every single sack has a spot. I feel like if you just miss one, suddenly you're getting body slammed by stacks that are falling from the sky, and you get buried under them. What if you need a break? Is there like a stop button? I gotta move my nose real fast. My crack itches. Look, give this man a second. They're coating the floor with epoxy. So they just like dump it and then drag it with this tool. Oh, there is no room for mistakes here. You're getting real close to those white baseboards. Putting a lot of trust into that hairless broom. Nobody did it. That turned out perfect. No mistakes here. This is how they cut tea leaves. They use this trimmer to just cut the top layer of the leaves and rake them into the bucket. It's just like trimming the bush. And those leaves are later dried up, grinded up, put into little bags and made into tea. So when your little tea bag says hand-picked tea leaves, this is what they mean. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out some skilled and fast workers. She playing with an egg, right? And then look how she had the egg. Just cracked it. You see how she just flicked it onto the spatula. Let the egg juice run down. And now she's doing like a happy anniversary art out of an egg. Talent. These guys have to get this pipe into the floor. Somehow or another. And we got the whole entire squad. Are y'all twerking or working? Both? Excellent. That's what I like to see. And they ended up getting it into the ground. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, we need a piece of carpet for this little bald spot right here. How do you get the perfect piece that will just like fit right in? So he did some measurements of the corner, made some cuts. I don't know how they do this, but I'm gonna just trust in the process. And it fit perfectly. The floor self-esteem through the door. 
Wait, you're telling me that the wall wasn't made of bricks? This dude is just out here drawing them. Just carving them into the, the plain wall. Wait, you're gonna make it look like bricks when it's not bricks. Lies, I tell you. No way, you gonna make all of those. She the fish thrower. She takes the fish and instead of like loading them up into this truck, she gonna throw every single one and make it every single time without fail. Some skill right here. This dude wanted to flex on every other chef at this establishment. So he took a blindfold, a balloon. Wait, why isn't the balloon popping? Is he not? Oh, okay, we get it. You are the best chef here. Do you want a round of applause or something? You're actually good at something and deserve to brag. They put it down some vinyl floors. And when they get to the edge, they just like slice the excess off. Excellent. Ain't nobody got time to measure beforehand. Slide right in like a dang sticker. Their job is to separate all the plastic bottles from everything else. So as it's like coming down, it's kind of like a game. It's like, don't let any plastic bottles pass this point or you lose. In other words, you're fired. Get out of here. These are cantilevered stairs. It's kind of scary because they're literally floating stairs. They're only attached on one side, which is the wall. So they gotta be really strong. And this is what they look like when they're done. Oh, they put a hat on them. You know, made them pretty. Just slide it right on. Wow. That looks sick. Until you trip and break your kneecaps. Oh, this is some risky business. Taking some black paint and painting the floor. One wrong move and you're gonna have to repaint the wall. Oh, it's so close, so close. Oh, oh, that was nice. It's all on the flick of the wrist. What, is this how they package lotions? We got somebody like hand doing this? Y'all gotta move fast. This is like robotic speed right here. What if you mess up? What if you gotta itch your nose? What if you gotta sneeze brewing? This is way too tedious. Okay, these tires are huge, super heavy. Like that, that's a truck tire. That's gotta be like two, 300 pounds. And she just flipped it up like a piece of meat. Crazy. They need to deliver the windows to a very high floor. So they took ropes, tied it to the window. Oh, I don't think this is safe. Oh, but they did it. They got it. The window right there. Who need a crane when you got ropes? And a whole lot of teamwork. The whole squad is gonna help carrying this up. He took a chunk out of this vinyl floor and then he was like, wait, it's okay, don't worry. Look how easy it is to fix it. Cuts a piece of the vinyl and then takes out the old one. Takes some glue, pops it back into place and it's already looking like new. That's it? You just replaced the piece of vinyl that was damaged? I mean, obviously, but you did that for what? They poured plaster into this large mold and then put some hair in it. Why is it hairy? I don't like this texture. Okay, cover it. Make sure it's all wet. That's how you give it some texture. You know, this is like popcorn ceilings, long lost cousin. Textured wall. If you got a piece of wood in the ground and you want it to stay, there is this foam that you can like pour into the hole and look, it like expands and like basically fills in the gap. You know, I thought you put dirt or something, but no, adult slime. Oh, he cut out a chunk of it, like a piece of cake. Oh, that wood, it ain't going nowhere. This is my lumber. This guy right here, professional table setter. At first I'm like, wait, what? Look how much skill this dude has and that it could take to set a table. So he put the tablecloth on, put the plates, spun them out for each guest. This is when everybody's like, wow. Everybody's playing in front of them at the same time. Paint hack. I'm getting five minute crap vibes here. Drilling a nail into a paintbrush. But no, the whole point of this is so that it stays and doesn't like fall and seppuku into the paint bucket. It just chills there. That's actually pretty smart. I ain't never seen somebody slice a potato so quick. Even though it looks like he's slicing the potato. No, he flipped it over and it didn't fall apart. So he's not making slices. Or at least they're not going all the way through. And then wait, pick it up, pick it up, stretch it. Yes! Long potato! Made a potato accordion out of it. Now play the potato accordion. Got some onions on a stick. I ain't never seen somebody do it like this. Oh, that knife is sharp. So just go through, massacre a family of onions. What you get for making me cry, bro? This is a knife commercial. 
This guy takes his work so seriously. When he poured concrete to make sure it's perfect, he will put himself inside while it's still wet. Maybe he always wanted to take like a heavy bath. The next best thing to quicksand. My dude, you better hurry up, do your job and like get out before you become a part of the floor. They put on some new wallpaper, but wait, there is an outlet in the way. You better move. Oh, he did that messy. There is no way that's gonna come out clean. He just made some cuts, but look how did he know exactly where it was gonna go? Not even make like measurements or anything and then just like cut it out. Came out clean. What to do when wood is square and does not fit. So they made a stencil with some tape, ripped it off, got the exact edge that they needed and then just cut it and then oh, that wood fits snug as a bug in a rug. That's satisfying. Oh, what are these? Stacks of what? Those fingers getting real close, real close to the blade of that knife. Like chopping down someone's house. Feel like I witnessed the murder. The way he chopped it down like it was nothing. Level expert wood chopper. My guy does not miss. Just every swing chopped in half. I'm more impressed with the accuracy. Like, whoa, my dude working overtime. We gonna have firewood for months. I ain't never seen somebody with aim this good in real life. He made some lines in the mirror. You just pop it out, cut it like it's nothing. Ooh, get rid of the excess and it comes out clean. Wait, is he making CDs? This how you do it? Look at the stack. So they just start out as like rectangles? This production line is going so quick and there's only these two guys to package all of these products. So they're like out here stacking non-stop or it's like the only time they stop, the other person has to like pick up the slack. Y'all teamwork gotta be on point for you to be able to like grab everything in time. Is this the best way to paint the floor? I guess so. Y'all are getting real close to your shoes. Doesn't that make you nervous? They got these new rims for their car. <gasps> You just put them on. Oh, those ones are so cool. When the wheel's like not even moving, the rim still like spins. That's pretty fancy. These videos are so satisfying. When they cut the edge piece of the baseboards and then put it in. Ooh, when they popped it into place and it fits perfectly like a puzzle. Excellent. This dude made this DIY little drill hat. So when he's drilling the ceiling, there's gonna be a lot of like debris and dust and crust that falls down, but basically it catches all of it in this little hat. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out some amazingly skilled workers. So I thought this pool was green, right? Like the steps in the bottom of it. But I'm like, wait, I have never seen a green pool before. Green means filthy, algae, dirty. So they started the process of cleaning it. First gotta water down the steps and it starts foaming up. And then comes the scrubbing and they start scrubbing at it and you start seeing the tiles and it's like, wait, it's not green, it's blue. Pool is blue. Wash away the filth. Oh man, how y'all want to get this bad? You swimming in this, it's toxic girl summer. Absolutely vile. Y'all ever seen somebody so efficiently pour the ketchup? Like it's not squirts, it's just do, do, do. He took the whole ketchup box. He ain't even squeezing it, he pouring it without spilling a single drop. And everybody gets the same amount of ketchup. If this ain't a talent, I don't know what is. Okay, at first I'm like, okay, he cutting some celery. Ah! I was like, he's cutting it really thin, that's quite impressive. And then he turned the speed on time 16. And just do, 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 without even looking. He don't even gotta look down at it. How do you do this without cutting off a finger? Some good old chef skill right here. So basically they put their finger like, so when they cut, do, 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 they know not to cut off a finger. See, I do not cut like that, but also I do not cut this fast. Have you seen somebody scan so quick? I want a 7.59 and your shift over at eight. I ain't never seen somebody scan that fast. I wanna see her input the fruit. He got all this filthy water after cleaning the floors. And what, what do you do with this excess dirty water? You sweep it up. He done swiped it into the dusting bin. I didn't know that was for water. This dude times it perfectly so that he cuts the paper at the right moment. I feel like this is a job for a machine. The machine should know, right? Now we don't trust technology around here. This dude cutting them by hand. I don't know if they're putting a wrap on this car or like a clear protective coating to protect the paint, but this is how they do it. And then smooth that bad boy down, get rid of the excess. Excellent. That paint protected. <laughs> Ex-girlfriend proof. Is this what they call a weed whacker? Also gives the grass a nice new fade. Ooh, the edges came out so clean. Walk on that lawn like, I like your cut, G. Very nice. Lawn looking good, ready to attract some ants. Every single dad on Saturday morning. 
This is how they do epoxy flooring. And look how close it gets to the white paint on the floorboards. Oh, when I tell you that was smooth, it like gets so close. One wrong move, you repainting the wall. And also, you have to like smooth it along as you go. Mmm, nothing like a good pressure washer. No matter how filthy your sidewalk is, the side of your house, that's some powerful water blasting the dirt away. Oh, and then when he cleans the ground, oh, it's like no dirty feet have ever touched the sidewalk type of clean. Like, look how filthy this walkway is. Disgusting. I'm gonna take this pressure washer and I don't even know the stairs without light. Literally years of filth washed away. Like washing away the sins of the sidewalk. Oh, that is a fat roll of paint. You know, I know that bad boy got a little can of paint in him. Squeeze it. Squeeze it good. Oh, that was nice. Clean. I already know. You roll one of these bad boys, you get in some ball spots. Oh, this wall overgrown in all the wrong places. Hey, wait. Why is your lawn vertical? Literally a wall. Shouldn't it be on the ground? Nah, we, we rich rich. We got a wall of a lawn. Or lawn of a wall. Grass wall. Very lush though. And for what? So he has all these trays to sort into two piles. So they come stacked funny like that, but you can just like separate them and just wha-bam. Separated. They're replacing a windshield. He put it down that little weather strip. I didn't know it came in a tube. So this is a urethane bead. Apply it to the new windshield and then just like press down. And wham bam, windshield fixed, ma'am. That'll be $300. Mmm, nothing like a freshly shaved sheep. So that's where Sherling comes from. You know, the inside of your Uggs, those fluffy shoes. It's the fur of a sheet. It's a very humane way of wearing fur. When done right like this. Like, oh man, how good would this feel for the sheep in the summer? Like taking off your jacket. <gasps> Little pancake fishies and they're done. And then he just like faster than I can pour myself a bowl of cereal. He scooped the little fishies up. Fast and nice way to cut a watermelon. Slice that bad boy in half. Ooh, that is a good juicy boy. Good color. Done, done, done. Why y'all getting knives this sharp? Oh, that was smooth. That was very nice. And then Whole Foods finna charge $10 for five of those pieces. A wee little container. Cause y'all know how to cut your fruit. When I'm cutting watermelon, I have this thing where I have to like pick out all of the seeds. Otherwise, I won't eat it. Even the white seeds. Yeah. This dude making boxes, packaging them very efficiently. Oh. I would send this video to Amazon. Be like, yes, this is my resume. Y'all see how quick I can do this? He even got that aerial view. I mean, if you got one of these jobs where you're packaging things, you gotta be quick. Like the way he opens the box is like, not a single paper cut. My hands would have been sliced like a pie. Ooh, this is how they pick blueberries? Bro, I had no idea. They made a scooper to just like, oh, yo, why those kind of remind me of middle school where the school nurse is like brushing the lice out of everybody's hair with a similar tool. I ain't trying to ruin blueberries for y'all or nothing. Personally, I love blueberries, but this takes me back to middle school. Oh man, I can never get over how pigmented this spray paint for street signs is. Like, ooh, that is nice. Oh, the way they do the three, I don't like how we messed up on the O. It's amateur hour. Oh, bless this guy. Doing the community a public favor. Switching the colors of the sidewalk. Because the last guy who did it didn't care. Was like, you know what? I want to piss somebody off. I'm going to ruin this pattern. Nah, Bill, you won't. Watch me do it. And then this dude literally took the pavers out. Popped them right back into place where they actually belong. Thank you, sir, for your service. The hero we needed. Before you lay the tile down, you gotta brush the cement's hair. You know, comb it real good, and then lay the tile down. No uneven floor! You gotta make sure it's combed. No wobbly floor. Wait, my dude, he chilling on his lunch break, he having a drink, but he still has to work. So you see how he takes that? Those are heavy! Those bags of soil or something? So he just, skirt, just slides it on his shoulder, and just hands free, very efficiently. He been doing this for years. This dude has a comically large knife. But look, he turned that meat. No, 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 no way he ground that beef. With the knife? With just all with a smile on his face the whole time. Big hamburger. Whoa. What is he making? Fries? Oh, we making a big burger out of this. Oh, we only have one side, so cut it in half. Wah bam. And then we put it on layers and layers and layers. A layer of fries, too. Oh, don't forget all the sauce. Oh, um, don't forget the melted cheese. Can't have a burger without melted cheese. More melted cheese. How many layers till we done, sir? If you can eat the whole thing in 30 minutes, it's free. That's a lot of burger. Could literally feed a village. 
This guy washing the dishes, lightning speed. Something tells me they're not gonna be that clean. When you just swish, swash. I'm surprised they don't break. Y'all see how filthy the griddle is after cooking burgers all day long. And what they gotta do, which I'm hoping every night to clean it. There's so many steps. Oh, it's not even over, I thought it was clean. But he going for clean, clean. And it's like new. Imagine ordering the first burger the next day on a clean grill. Mmm, dirty window. Time to clean this all up. Okay, but why is that window cleaner so like thin? Look how good it just like cleans. This video got no sound, but I can hear it squeak. Until it's squeaky clean. Okay, I know this stuff is highly toxic, but it looks very fun. And the way they just fill the wall with this insulation, like it starts out as a liquid. They spray it and then it's just like poof stuff and then it hardens. Like what are you? You want to be a liquid or a solid? How? Forbidden ice cream. They're detailing this car. Are y'all cleaning under the door handles? Oh no. And then they just like smooth out the air. This is a shower floor and they're laying the tiles down in this really cool design. Oh, I love how they just all fit perfectly together. And then you gotta put the spacers and then fill that bad boy up with grout. That looks slippery. Y'all had to sign a waiver for that, didn't you? Did you slip and fall in the shower? Not my problem. Oh, this is how they do the floor in a tennis court. Green floors mean tennis court. If this whole time it was just paint? Y'all just painted it? I thought I got a little texture to it. Hey y'all, I'm gonna give this piece of grass a fresh new fade. That is such a random piece of grass. This is growing in a corner on the, the sidewalk. My dude doing his community a favor. Like, it's very ugly. Y'all have no business bringing the property value down. Let me just... Hello friends, it's me. And today is Satisfying Sunday. We're gonna be checking out some really satisfying skills. Whoa! Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna walk up to that lawn and be like, I like your cut, G. Boom! Smack it a good one. I didn't even think it looked that bad before. But the way he just like cleans up the edges, mmm, delicious. It's not a leaf blower, it's not a mower. What? What is, a weed whacker? Is that what that is? Before I show you this, I thought this was a gray cushion. And then they vacuumed it. Oh, it's not gray. It's gross. These school stuff. The before and after, when they pick up the years of dirt and dust that's accumulated on the surface. Vacuum like, mm. We eating good tonight. Five course meal, delicious. Ah! Oh, I was like, so what? You drew a heart with your fingers in snow. Anybody could do that. And then she picked it up. Last Christmas they gave you my heart. The very next day it melted away. Hey, you got any special skills? Yes, I can make a perfect circle with my feet. Wow, that really is. It's all in the flick of the ankle. So they're coating the floor. I think this is epoxy. Or perhaps it's paint. <gasps> sir, sir, are you wearing your shoes? He's walking on it. How is he walking on it and not doing... Where are the footprints? We got a ghost doing this floor right now? Sir, that is what? He's moving it around, but it's like his feet aren't even making any footprints on it. I'm confused. Oh, that was a clean edge. Very, oh, so good as stinky. Explain this to me in the comments right now. How was he walking on? Does he have like spikes on his shoe or something? Even then, it would make like little dots. Hmm. Can you read this? Oh, at first I'm like, no, what are you trying to write? What language is this? How can I possibly read it? And then it's just, hello. And it looks 3D. Here we got a naked little donut cake. Whoa. Not so naked anymore. Put some clothes on. This is how you clean jewelry. You see, that ring look clean and then look at all the gunk and grime coming out of it. Maybe it's flatulence, maybe it's filth. And then watch it come out so sparkly and clean. Mm. Sir, sir, that is a dangerous game you're playing there. I tried to do this when I was a kid. I fell and almost broke my leg. And then this dude doing it, the tube kicking champion over here. You know, this is how we get them all off. <sighs> His mother watching this about to have a heart attack. Mmm, this is how they coat the tennis floors. My dude walking dangerously close to that paint line. You see how close that is? Oh, oh, this close to getting new shoes. He's going over the lines. How will I know where to serve from? Okay, here's another view of those sneakers. Okay, so he has like little spikes on his shoes that allow him to walk on this terrain. Imagine resisting the urge to just like Jump in the paint puddle. Ruin the house. Oh, and when he does the edges, so clean. Yes. 
So this is how they do the weather strip on your car window. You know that rubber bit on your car window? So it's just like a giant syringe. Mmm, forbidden frosting. We're gonna frost this windshield up like it's a birthday cake. I thought it was just like a rubber strip that y'all just pop in. No, it comes out of a tube. How can this be? It's so solid too. I never knew this was actually a thing. 3D printing a boat. Like a 3D printer on this scale. Like what, 2030? We're gonna be 3D printing houses? There it is, a whole entire boat! We got all the test subjects chilling in it. They're like, yeah, we're not sure if this is sturdy or not. They got life jackets on their suits attached by a string. If y'all can't trust this, how you expect me to? Some people got a lot of extra time during quarantine. This dude made a Pringles rainbow. No way that's gonna stay. How can you possibly get those to stay? Sir, how you do that? <laughs> FBI open up, because that's illegal. If it fits, it sticks. More things adults appreciate. My dude got a power washer. He's like, you know what? We're gonna clean this whole entire house. The driveway. You have no idea how filthy a driveway actually is until you start to clean it. You see all that gunk? Oh, you know what? We, we doing the whole entire residence. Just every single surface in this household washed. You know what? I'll even throw in the neighbor's stairs for free just because this is fun. <laughs> it's a good time. You know, I hate cleaning, but it's just so satisfying seeing things clean. Clean. Government needs to do this to the entire world. It's like I start walking around barefoot. Today we're making a brick wall. Oh, just fill it with cement, slide it down, and that's how they get a nice thin even layer. You gotta season the bricks before you make the wall. That is some of the thickest syrup I ever done seen. So they are mixing it. Oh, they put some food coloring in it. What color is this gonna turn out? I'm horrible at guessing the colors. Green? I mean yellow, but this is gonna be some like doo-doo brown. No, it's turning blue. And now it's like an ocean. There's still some yellow in there. Now we're green? Pick one. And it just keeps going. They just spin the forbidden gravy. And then after, oh, they're pouring some yellow onto it. I don't know what the yellow is, but then they mix it up and it's like, I don't even know what we're doing. In here. So we gotta let everybody know that this is a bus stop. So this is how they do the stencils on the side of the road. Oh, I thought it said bus stop for a sec. So they have to borrow the S stencil. We only got one. That's all we got budget for. And then they take off the stencils and wha-bam! Words written on the road. Look how perfectly these fit together. There's not even a line, not even a seam. Is this what finding your soulmate is like? Y'all just connect and become one? You a metal sheet now. Oh, the, the cube? A division nowhere to be seen. Oh, even more! It just keeps connecting. No, sir, it's become too powerful. Oh, that was really nice. When it goes in just right, it just disappears. <gasps> Ooh, nothing like some hot liquid glass. Do you know what this is? Yes, sir, it's some cheese. Now it's an egg, egg cheese. What are you doing? A four yolk egg? They really do be looking like a craft single. So do you only have like a certain amount of time before it like hardens? You gotta just like work quick, hurry up and mold it into whatever you want. At first it looks like this dude is drawing an alligator with a very abnormally long top snout. A snout that could reach the heavens. And then he shades it in. You know, he still looks like he got a long snoot. Add some detail, add a little more detail. Oh, it's still there. Why he built like that? So then he cuts it out. How are you gonna cut out all those little teeth? We love a shortcut. And then look, now comes the illusion. You put it on the table and look at it straight on. And it looks like he's just like coming to life. He wasn't drawn on that paper. Where he's standing on that paper and then you turn it and then oh there's the illusion very long long snout and then face it front again he looks 3d normal it is wild what perspective can do you know every time i see a piece of glass like this i'm a convex concave when i learned about that like 15 20 years ago oh it's how they make glasses y'all just take like a thick piece of glass like like a magnifying glass that goes in here it starts out like that and then they just cut it and shape it to your glasses oh i never knew how they did it wow and then pop that bad boy into place vision I don't know what it is about cement that makes it just so mm, satisfying. It's so creamy. Like it could fill a sidewalk or the inside of an Oreo cookie. Same texture. Very similar. Except one is literal poison. 
Here we have a regular wooden table, right? So then you put some markings in it, cut some pieces out, smoothed it, made it real nice. Whoa, fancy how you sell a piece of wood for a couple thousand dollars. That's a nice texture. You know, this piece of wood, it, it looks a little too hard. I want it to look soft, like a blanket. I got you. It made it look so smooth. So this is something I saw for the first time on TikTok. It's like puzzle art. So you have like these little diamonds and this little device where you could like press the squares. Like there's a square for whatever color is supposed to go there. And then you press them all on. Oh, when they do it in groups, eee, so satisfying. And then just fill it up. And then when it's done, whoa, someone has a lot of free time on their hands. Oh, I can't imagine how satisfying it would be to just like, bam, group of four on there. What if you mess up? You just like pop them off. Oh, I thought they were gonna clean the floor. No. Oh, even better. We ran some numbers. Oh, that's a good 59. Oh, so crispy. It's like you got one chance. My shaky hands could never. So they have some metal coils here, right? They heated them up, cut them into little chains. We make it a chain, right? For the prisoners in the dungeon. Heated it up, twist it up, and then it went from that to this? It's gold now. What? How you do that? It's a gold chain now. Something tells me that ain't actually made of gold. Nothing like some good torch torture. When you grow up, you're gonna be a gold chain. And that's exactly what he did. It's crazy how you start out with this and end up with this? Like the skeptical. <laughs> I wonder if he knows they're recording. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're checking out people doing their job perfectly. This dude is chopping potatoes. A stack. He's not even looking. Just everything about this is absolutely bananas. The fingers, they just keep getting so close. They get so close. He's gonna chop a nail off or something. No, he doesn't. How many times do I have to watch this? I gotta watch this like slow down. Slow this down. Okay, he's fast. He's really fast. It's sped up, right? He's doing this way too fast and he's blinking way too fast. But still, you are slicing through six large potatoes. No, you're not even looking at them. You're looking up. That's the hardest part. I would have lost three fingers and a hand. Maybe the arm. When I'm cutting something, I have to like look exactly where I'm cutting or it's like there will be a casualty. That's what makes it really impressive for me. How many plates can you possibly stack on one arm? You got four, five. He only picked up a sixth one. He's gonna open the door. Oh, kick it open. Those aren't even the regular plates. They're like the huge dinner plates. Are they not hot? My dude is a pro. Years of carrying mom's groceries in one trip has prepared him for this job. I'ma stack five plates on this arm instead of make two trips if I have to. And he did. Easy. It's actually really impressive. Okay, we have to take out this piece of grass. Oh no, these people didn't pay their grass bill. Time to take out the grass. This spot specifically? Okay, removed. I will be taking the green back. You don't even get a crumb of grass left until you pay your bill. Y'all might not like how this is done, but this is how they do it. White bricks are just painted red. I thought they like hand lay the red brick, right? No, it's just a bunch of white bricks. And then they, when they paint red over it, the indents stay white. You told me he stacked all of those up there. Do it again, or I don't believe you. He did it again. Do they just like stack on top of each other? Or do you have to have like really good aim? Like just pick it up and throw it up. Toss it. Like it's a dang sack of potatoes. You told me he did that with all of them. You know, gotta load them up one way or another. Might as well get good at throwing them. Bet this guy is a beast at bowling. When painting a wall, it's better to start painting by the edges. Oh, so that's what makes it so fast. I see all these people going crazy, like paint an entire wall in a few seconds. When I didn't even realize, like they have all the corners painted. That's the hardest part that takes the longest time. Cause then you could just like go crazy on the rest of it. This is how they trim a hedge wall. Oh, it's so perfect. Plants need a haircut too. You know, it looks so clean after they cut it, but it's also like nice and spiky before too. Nobody will try to climb over it if it's spiky. They poured lava onto the stone. I don't think it's lava, it's liquid metal. Wait a second, everybody pours it at the same time so it like evenly distributes and it's a fence. This is how they make fences? No way. Just make a mold into the ground and then just pour liquid metal. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. That's so cool. 
Look at this dude's cameraman skills. You told me they doing this in real time? Okay, that's actually crazy. Cause I don't know what I was expecting. I thought when there's like a game or something being broadcasted live, I thought there was multiple cameras that like switch off. But this dude looks like he could do it. Like he's the multiple cameras in one guy. Like let me zoom in on the ball, follow the ball, follow this dude. Like his precision is point accurate. I, I bet he got some good aim in Fortnite. No, I really respect people that it doesn't matter no matter what they do, they do their job good. Filthy seats? No problem. Just torch them off. Wait, really? They're like brand new and shiny too. I don't think they've ever been this clean. Whoa. You know, if only I could just melt the grime. Is your house a disgusting, crusty mess? Just set it on fire and it'll be like new. You know, if only cleaning was that easy. I cannot believe how extremely satisfying this is. Just like having a brand new chair. Have you ever seen this device? Because I haven't. I feel like I just watched the murder. The way it just like snapped the tree off and then all the branches. What are you gonna do with all the branches? Nope, don't need those. Just shred them. Shave the tree. You know, it's hot girl summer. Make it silky smooth. Shave the branches off. You know, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this, like a whole entire device that it goes through to just come out a clean trunk. I thought there was a big burly guy in the forest doing that, but no, they got this thing. Look how fast she puts in orders. She gotta be a PC player or something. Look how quick! She ran that card multiple times too. Bill paid. When time is money, the faster you do your job, the more money you make. She's making these little meat pockets, right? And look, she goes so insanely fast. Like, you don't even see her roll it up. Look, watch it in slow-mo. She is taking a piece, rolling it in meat, and putting it to the side. How is she rolling it so fast? How is the dough so cooperative? Like, it's practically folding itself. Like, it really just did an orange justice after it got a piece of meat inside. That's crazy. Wait, that's how you wrap your rims? I always wondered how they do this. No way it's that simple. So you just like clean it off and you just put the sheet on top and then peel off the excess like it's a dang car sticker. Is it this simple? I feel like it's just gonna like peel off or something. Okay, but anyways, it looks sick. Oh man, it is so satisfying seeing this. Bus? He's gonna step on it, you're gonna step on it. Oh, it dries really fast. I guess you can step on it. Oh man, but it is so satisfying seeing these letters done. Also, this takes great skill. Like, it's not a brush. Like, they pour the paint into this thing and you have to like write the letter fast enough. So this highway was flooded and this worker single-handedly unclogs the drain. Oh man, he did it and then just sit back like a boss. <laughs> I wonder if he knows they're recording. He probably looked at all of them like, wow, you guys are idiots. It's just some dirt, some grass, some trees and leaves. He just sits back, watches this little whirlpool of all the mucky water draining. I mean, I would feel so cool after that. Like, you're welcome. Someone had to do it. This is how they make a mud pot. So they take the clay. Oh, I've never seen this. I only seen those like spinning plates. So they just take a piece of stone and just, oh, so satisfying. Whoa. At this point, what game is this even? This has gotta be like some crazy trick shot, judging by the guy on the hoverboard or whatever that is. The one wheel skateboard. Okay, that was pretty good. This guy is painting the ground for a sport court. Is that what it's even called? It's not a tennis court. I don't know if it's basketball. I'm gonna call it a sport court. You really cannot mess this up. Or you gotta like do it over. Very confident in their abilities, I see. How do they put on a window tint? Ooh, oh, that was clean. Very aggressive also. So it's just a sheet, you just put it on like that, like a face mask for your car window. And then like squeegee it, flatten it down. How's it sticking? Why doesn't this just like peel off? Oh, he's holding one side. All right, it's not going anywhere but this window. You and the glass will be as one. Until somebody's like, ooh, you got a new car, you still got a little thing, it's peeling a little bit. And then just yank the whole tint off. Ew, filthy shoes. Yeah, what do you do when your shoes are filthy? Just throw them in the washing machine or do you have to like manually wash them like this? I guess you have to manually like scrub them. I gotta like take a weekend off and that's all I'm gonna be doing. Just cleaning shoes. I need to get me one of those like shoe brushes. I've been using a toothbrush. It's not very efficient. Oh, they're like brand new. Those laces still be musty though. But the white part, the part that gets scuffed, it can be like new again. All I need is a brush and some special sauce. 
This guy is getting paid per yard of pavers he lays down. So of course he's gonna do it quick. This cannot be good for your back. We are going to go down this escalator and clean it in one trip. I'm not going back up there. So they got the whole squad to clean the airport escalator. Everybody holds a section of the wiper so that when the elevator comes down once, they will have it clean in one go. Now that is what I call efficient. I mean, can't one person just like stand at the bottom and just wait for it to come down? I think that would also work. Then again, I have never cleaned an escalator in my life. When you're getting paid per job. Oh, y'all are quick. Tell me where people are getting these like pay per job. Everybody I hire to do anything, it's like by hour and then they dilly dally for several hours. And then they're like, well, I couldn't do it. What? One time I hired somebody to put together a desk and a shelf. The shelf was in two pieces and then the desk was in two pieces also. It took this guy eight hours of doing what? It's because I wasn't watching him. I was sick in bed and he dilly dallied for eight hours hours to put together these two things. And with a desk, he needed help too. Somebody please tell me how. And then he charged me $600 to put those two things together because it was per hour. Can you guess who's the vet and whose first day it is? They're both really fast. You telling me one of those people, it's their first day? I mean, the guy on the right finished way faster. But still, like, if that's her first day, that is very impressive. Where are y'all working that y'all are cutting things so fast? I see people in the back slicing like, which is fine, it's just a few slices of banana. Did Amber Heard get a new job? She could do bottle tricks. Now let me get that mega pint. Oh, she keeps going. Ma'am, I just want my drink. I'm just kidding, I don't think Amber is that talented. But like, how long are you gonna be playing with my drink before you pour it? Did a flip, did a juggle? Several flips. Oh, that last one was dangerous. Came dangerously close to her weenus. Y'all ever get hit like your funny bone, like right here and it's like, oh.